Hello, I'm Dr. Janice Reed, Technical Services Manager with Control Solutions. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to use TECO 0.2G to control larval mosquitoes. The goal of all mosquito services is to reduce the overall number of biting mosquitoes in an area. This is accomplished in a number of ways. The most obvious is to apply residual insecticides to areas where mosquitoes are known to rest. A less obvious, and less understood by property owners, is to apply larvicides to stop development of mosquitoes in water. There are four stages in a mosquito life cycle, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Three of these stages require water to complete, the egg, the larval, and the pupal stage. Eggs are laid in water by female mosquitoes. Once the eggs hatch, larvae begin to develop. Their only job is to eat and grow. Once the larvae get large enough, they enter the pupal stage. This stage is the transformation stage between larvae and adult mosquitoes. Due to the large amount of time that mosquitoes spend in water, it makes sense to target known breeding areas to stop development of adults. By addressing mosquito control in the water, we can stop development of adult mosquitoes, lowering the overall population. TECO 0.2G is designed to control mosquito larvae by interrupting their normal growth and development process. The small pellets contain the active ingredient Novoluron. Novoluron is a chitin synthesis inhibitor and is extremely effective at disrupting mosquito larval development. The granules are meant to be applied directly into the water where active ingredient is slowly released. During normal feeding, larvae ingest the active ingredient in the water. Once larvae are affected by TECO 0.2G, they cannot complete their life cycle and no adults emerge from the treated water. When applying TECO 0.2G, be sure to wear gloves, especially if applying the product by hand. Let's take a look at the application rates and directions. TECO 0.2G is meant to be applied to bodies of water or containers that mosquito larvae use to develop. For example, tires, urns, tree holes, pots, bird baths, and rain barrels. TECO 0.2G can provide control for up to 90 days at the highest application rate or 60 days at the low application rate. Let's walk through how to figure out how much TECO 0.2G to apply. You will need to determine the total size in gallons of the body of water to be treated. For this, you will need a tape measure or other measuring device. Begin by measuring the surface area of the body of water. Let's use this bird bath for an example. It is 12 inches by 12 inches by two inches deep. We need to convert this to feet. So that is one foot by one foot by 0.167 feet, which is two inches divided by 12. To determine the total volume in gallons, multiply these numbers. So one times one times 0 0.167 equals 0 0.167 cubic feet. Then we need to convert this volume, this cubic feet, to gallons. To do this, multiply by a standard factor of 7.48. This is the factor to convert cubic feet to liquid gallons. So 0 0.167 times 7.48 equals 1.25 gallons of water. TECO 0.2G application rates are also based on how much organic matter is in the water. Determining this is simple. If the water is clear and the bottom is visible with little algae growth, the water is low in organic material. If the water is murky, the bottom is not visible and there is high algal growth, the water is high in organic content. This treatment chart will help you determine how much TECO 0.2G you need to add to each treatment area. We'll go back to the bird bath. If the bird bath is full, 
you will need between 5 30 seconds and 4 fifths of a teaspoon of Teco 0.2G to treat that bird bath. In small bodies of water, like gutters, in-ground valve boxes, small dishes, or other areas that can't be easily emptied, a small amount of Teco 0.2G may be applied by either measuring the appropriate amount or sprinkling a few granules or pellets when the water volume is less than a gallon. Remember, a little goes a long way. Teco 0.2G needs to be applied to water to be effective. Most water bodies can be treated with Teco 0.2G, but it should not be applied to water that drains directly into a natural water body. Additionally, we don't recommend making applications to ponds where fish such as koi are living. Teco 0.2G is not meant to be applied where aquatic species are present. Remember, Teco 0.2G is not meant to control adult mosquitoes and will not replace any adulticide applications, nor is it an instant kill. So it's important to communicate with your clients that Teco 0.2G is slow acting, taking a few days to affect the larval mosquitoes as they grow and develop. When applied at the high rate, Teco 0.2G will last 90 days, so applications should be made quarterly. Please remember to read the product label in its entirety before making any applications. CSI, innovation you can apply.